Hey, Joe here. One of my private clients reached out to me recently uh, asking for more information on how to use a plugin within Studio One. Let me show you. He was using Multiband Dynamics, which is the multiband compressor that comes included with Studio One. Now, I, I've got mine set up by default. Uh, if you want to screenshot this, if you're curious. Uh, curious. I've got mine set up by default as a three-band compressor rather than the default five-band compressor. So it defaults to giving you five bands. I turn these bottom two off. Um, and my default is this, which gives me just three bands uh, rather than five. I use it predominantly in mastering, predominantly for um, going across the entire mix. Attack and release 100 milliseconds, two to one ratio. Just if you're curious um, as a starting point. However, the bigger question is how did how does one learn more about how a specific plugin works? Now, Gregor and I will do videos on specific plugins here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, this would be a good first place to go to. You can search for specific plugin names and probably find some cool content there. However, you can find a lot of what you need directly inside of Studio One, but a lot of people don't know about this. Studio One has a manual just like every other piece of product in the world. However, Studio One's is available inside of Studio One as its own little environment. It's not just a PDF. It actually is pretty smart. And the Studio One will take you to the right place in the manual based on where you are in Studio One. So right now, I am looking and focused on the multiband dynamics window. And if I press F1 on the keyboard, which is for the manual, check out what happens. Isn't that interesting? The manual opened up, and I can close this window now, and it took me directly to the multiband dynamics page. That's awesome. So if you do this, if you press F1, there's a chance, this happened to me the first time I did this, there's a chance that it will pop up and say, you've not installed the manual. Um, depending on how you installed Studio One, you may or may not have, you may have done a smaller installation. It, it'll walk you through going to the installation menu, which looks like this, by the way. Um, it's this window. It's checking to see what available products I have on my account. Um, and you can see the things I've installed now. One of these will be the manual. Yeah, documentation. Um, and inside of that is the Studio One reference manual in English because that's the language that I speak. Um, so if that's not installed, you would hit here to install it. Okay. So, but once that is installed, you can use this as a part of your workflow, especially if you're new to production in general or you've moved over to Studio One from a different system and you're trying to figure things out. So I open Multiband Dynamics. I think I'd like to know a little bit more context about some of this. F1, and then I can close that. What just happened? Uh, F1, and I can move this out of the way. I'm not sure why that closed it. And then I can go through and I can learn about multiband. And what's interesting is I, as I'm scrolling, I get a lot of good information here about it. But then also, as you can see, like, oh, there's one about Tricomp, which is a compressor in Studio One that I honestly never use, but it's intriguing. I should probably use it more, and this might intrigue me to, to look at it more closely. Um, and we can kind of go back. These are kind of built in what we're calling mastering effects. And as you can see over here in the table of contents, you can see uh, there's notes about the different delays, notes about distortion, both Empire and also I'm guessing red light distortion is down here somewhere. Once you get through all the different models of distortion, there you go, my beautiful red light distortion. It's all right there. So the, the two-prong approach is first, wherever you're stuck, just press F1 and see what the manual shows you. Of course, you can search the manual as well, but we wanted to make it easy, even easier than that. Let's say I'm in the mixer and I press F1. It's going to pull up the all the information about the console, which is what we call it uh, in Studio One, um, including all the different inputs and outputs and navigation and all of that. It's all right here. I'm not a big manual reader, and I'm not suggesting you read the manual from front to back either. You could make the argument that reading the manual from start to finish uh, is a bit of a waste of time, uh, a way of procrastinating actually working on something. I say get in and start working, and when and if you get stuck, then reach for help. And the first place you would I would reach to is the manual in Studio One by pressing F1 on your keyboard. Second place I would look is YouTube, where you'll find folks like myself and Gregor offering you weekly videos to help further and deepen your knowledge of how this system works. Because the ultimate goal here is to make music, and we're doing 
everything we do is with that in mind. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you discovered something maybe you didn't know before or were reminded of a helpful tool that's been there all along. Thanks for watching. See ya.